Welcome back, and we are on to our next chapter of our excellent adventure. And today uh, we are going to scramble some eggs. Remember last time we did hard boiled eggs. And I just want to remind you once again that I've checked out my environment, made sure everything is clean, my hands have been washed, and my floor doesn't have anything on it for me to slip on. All right, so we're going to start with two eggs. I'm going to start with that first egg. Gonna crack it gently on one side, and there we go. And I'm going to just go ahead and throw that over there for the garbage disposal for later. You can always throw it in the trash. Alrighty. When I first used to crack eggs when I was younger and was practicing, it was messy. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna quickly rinse my hands because I got a little bit of egg on me. And I'm gonna go ahead and dry with a paper towel so in case I didn't do a good job just then, I don't wanna get egg on anything else. Okay, great. So um, lots of people like to put different things in their eggs. We're just gonna do a really simple salt and pepper eggs, scrambled eggs. Some people like to chop onions or bell peppers or mushrooms all kinds of cool things. And we can always use one of these, which is called a, hmm, I forget what it was called, a whisk, yes. But you would need a deeper bowl, and I have kind of a shallow bowl, and I'm only doing two eggs, so I don't need that. And I'm just gonna go around. I've also been doing that little move here for many years. So this is something to practice. And I'm just whipping it up, whipping it up, whipping it up. You know, I have friends who just throw their eggs in the pan and never even mix it up. So you just get it all mixed up together, a little bubbly. And after that, I'm gonna turn on my burner. I've got my little pan here. And once again, I'm gonna bring that flame to go underneath my pan, not around it, not too high, about medium. And I'm gonna add some butter. You can always spray a nonstick you can put a little olive oil in there, coconut oil. Uh, we're gonna use butter because butter is delicious. <laughs> and I didn't do a beautiful job because this butter is a little bit cold. I personally keep my butter on the counter and it doesn't get too cold. So I'm just getting it all inside the pan and I'm gonna grab my spatula and just make sure the butter is all over the bottom of the pan so that my eggs don't stick. Even though this is a non-stick pan, you maybe could have done it without the butter, but it's not gonna be as delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my eggs. Alrighty, and I'm going to try to get it all out. All right, put this in the sink to wash for later. And I think I'm gonna turn up my heat a little tiny bit and I'm gonna let it cook. Now, if you were making an omelet, you could cook it like this, and then on half of it, you could put your ingredients, like maybe cheese or whatever you like inside your omelet, and then you would fold one side on top of the other. But we're gonna do scrambled eggs. So, before it gets too cooked up, we're not gonna let it become a little pancake. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. And I don't have my heat on super high, so it's taking a little bit. You just get it off your edges and mix it in. See how it's starting to cook right there? You can see a little bit of it starting to cook. And we keep pulling it away from the bottom. And it's gonna take a little bit. I don't want them to burn, so I just have it on medium. I'm going around the edges. Actually, I'm not a big scrambled egg person myself. I know it's a crowd pleaser. It's easy. I like my eggs over medium. Next time, when we do another chapter in our excellent adventure, um, maybe we can do some over medium eggs. Here we go, we're starting to get more cooked up. And I keep turning it over to try to put the raw part down to the bottom. And you, if you feel like your eggs are starting to stick like a little too much and you're uncomfortable with that, you can just hold up your pan for a moment. You can turn down your heat. 
There we go. And you don't want to get them overcooked. This is, I'm going to turn this off now because the pan is going to remain warm and it's still cooking even if you turned off your heat. And I think that looks pretty good. Those are our scrambled eggs. And then you just slide those guys right onto a plate and you can have it with some fresh fruit or some sausage or bacon or toast, whatever it is that you enjoy eating. And those are your scrambled eggs for today.